proud of you for going on this trip. You're gonna have so much fun. And remember, if something chases you, if Mad Max Fury Road is the new gold standard for modern action films and the Transformers franchise is the bottom of the barrel, then Jurassic World might be the first candidate for a perfect middle point of inoffensive and uninspired mediocrity. Jurassic World takes place 20 years after the original Jurassic Park disaster and it seems like they finally nailed down the perfect dinosaur zoo model. In fact, people are so used to dinosaurs now, the scientists at Jurassic World have decided to let Chris Pratt train them like show dogs while they develop super mutant genetic hybrid killing machine dinosaurs to, you know, sell tickets. Or maybe sell them to the military industrial complex? It's hard to tell. One thing is for sure, Vincent D'Onofrio wants to choose scenery and replace military drones with raptors because why not? Not. As you can imagine, things go haywire and it's up to Pratt, his raptor friends, two obnoxious children, and a woman in heels to save the day. The movie hits all the usual action beats, but there's a serious lack of interesting set pieces or awe-inspiring moments, which is a bit of a problem when your movie is about awesome dinosaurs. Ostensibly, this is a movie that seems like it might be criticizing theme park culture and the constant need for spectacle without substance, and yet somehow Jurassic World is just as hollow as the style over substance approach it's mocking. But hey, at least it's better than Jurassic Park 3. <laughs>